Welcome to RamblinRec.com. I'm Brandon Gauden, and he is the top-ranked amateur golfer in the world. That's Ali Schneider Jans. He just got back from the UK. He played in the Palmer Cup, which is basically the Ryder Cup for college golfers, and also the Scottish Open. Just in general, how crazy and awesome was the, were those two experiences? Oh, it was awesome. Um, I've been over there one other time when I was a junior golfer, and to go back and play Lynx golf and play, you know, the Palmer Cup with, and meet all those guys for USA and Europe and represent my country and my college was really cool uh, in a foreign area. Um, it was exciting to be out there and play different types of golf and uh, just a great experience just to be out in Europe for three weeks and handle that. Yeah, and the Scottish Open, I mean, not that the Palmer Cup wasn't cool, but I would imagine with all those guys that were in the Scottish Open, it had to be even better than the Palmer Cup. Yeah, it was, it was surreal because it's the first event that I've played with with names like Phil Mickelson and Ernie Els, guys that are legends already that I've been following since I was a kid and watching win majors and to be on the putting green right next to them or on the range right next to them even on Monday's practice round day or Tuesday's practice round day so uh, that was very special to be around those guys and competing and seeing my name on the leaderboard ahead of some of those guys after a couple rounds and right there with them uh, it, it was very, uh, very special week. Is there a particular person that you met or a conversation with one of those golfers that sticks out from your time over there? Uh, meeting Ernie Els was, was definitely, the, I met him at Wimbledon. I got to go, to, to go watch some Wimbledon and have lunch with him and, and, some, and Paul Casey. And, uh, but talking with Ernie, he was really, really cool, just like I would expect him to have been like talking to him in person. And, and uh, we end up being pretty good friends at the end of the week and um, he's invited me to go play some golf with him in Florida. It's just cool to have like kind of a relationship with someone like Ernie who's trying to you know be a role model for me and, and help me get in, get in get started out there. And oh by the way he tied Ernie Els in the Scottish Open at one under <laughs> for the week so that had to be pretty cool but you see Ernie Els you're talking about putting next to Phil Mickelson all these guys that you're meeting do you ever just pinch yourself and say I know that I'm a good golfer but you're so young to be doing all these things. You know? Yeah um, it, it was just a matter of time for me before I would play an event like that with those guys but it still was the first time I got to be be doing that. I've always envisioned that happening and then it was happening so I felt very comfortable in my own skin. Um, I was focused on what I was doing trying to play good and practice and just to be around those guys I felt very comfortable. Um, it wasn't something I didn't think was going to happen so for it to just happen kind of get that invitation laid and then end up over there practicing with Phil to get ready for the thing was, was really cool. Yeah, I know that you've got a lot of guys that you like, that you look up to in the game of golf. Is there anyone in particular, though, that maybe you say, I'd like to be them in 20 years, or their game reminds, or their game reminds of, of you of yours? Anybody like that? Uh, not really. Um, I love Adam Scott's swing. He wasn't out there. Uh, he's got my favorite golf swing. Um, but there's nobody in particular that I want to see myself being. Um, I want to do big things, and I'll have my own special career um, and I don't see anybody else there that's like me so I've just kind of realized everybody's different and I'm and I like to learn from everyone and not ever gonna really copy anybody but can certainly take some things from the best players in the world yeah sweep your own path so to right. speak right a couple more things what's next for you now uh, the US amateur um, at Atlanta Athletic Club which is really cool uh, to be in Atlanta like that for my being the number one amateur and playing in my hometown is pretty special. Um, and that is August 11th, so about four, three and a half weeks. So just a lot of intense practice between now and then? Uh, not too intense, just get some workouts in, make sure my body is in check and, and healthy and injury free, eat, eat good, work out, um, practice a little bit here and there, try to get to know Athletic Club even more. But nothing too intense, kind of take a mental break and, and just regroup and be ready to, to show some intensity uh, that week. Yeah, and then, oh, by the way, you still have your senior year at Georgia Tech to get through, right? Right, right. <laughs> uh, certainly that will, once this amateur is over, we'll have to regroup and come back to school and uh, I'll figure out a way to get to get excited for that. Yeah, it should be a great year for Georgia Tech golf, but a lot for Ollie between now and then. Best of luck in that amateur tournament. Thank you. All right, thanks, Ollie. Thanks.